a friend's right now to go help her pack up her stuff and move it to storage uh, because she wants to downsize and do some alternative lifestyle stuff as well. Um, I mean, she's traveled a lot. She's actually thinking about going overseas possibly as well. And maybe me and her can do something overseas. I don't know yet. But um, I want to make this video because, like I said, I was going to spend any money and uh, only on the flooring. Um, and so I had a lady call me yesterday. I posted an ad on Craigslist that I was looking for some flooring, extra flooring or whatever, small space. And she said that she had uh, extra left over and couldn't take it back because she got it for a discount or something like that. So I went and picked it up today and it's actually the dark wood. So I'm going with the dark wood. <laughs> I was really just going to go with whatever I could get for the best price and just that is what it is. That's how it's supposed to happen. And so yeah, I got some dark wood back there. Um, it was three and a half boxes for $20. So I can't really beat that. It's about between 65 and 68 square feet and I think that's you know, I don't think I will need much more than that. If I do, I could just find the same kind. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on. I'll show you the flooring in a second. Okay, so before I run in here, here's the flooring right here. So it's a darker wood. Um, I mean, I would have even liked to go even darker, but I like this. This is nice. This is a uh, walnut, a dark walnut. So um, they had a little extra of this left over as well. I might use a little of that just to cushion it some, but yeah, cool. Well, I had footage of the situation I ran into, which is why I'm not gonna go ahead and lay the wood flooring down for this part, um, but I lost all my footage and uh, yeah. And then I lost the footage um, that I was gonna replace it with because my battery went dead and cut it off and I thought I had it recorded but obviously I didn't save it I guess or something but anyway so here I am uh, it is Sunday it's really nice out and I think it's like low 60s or something so I'm just gonna record this and show you what's going on so this is why I'm not gonna go ahead and lay down the wood yet the wood flooring because uh, well the AC unit over here in the back was leaking a little bit now it hasn't leaked since and I think it was just because I had turned it on one day just to see uh, how it was working and everything and uh, it must be blocked or some of the hoses something's you know old so it was leaking a little underneath of there and the insulation was laid across here so it was you know kind of over this ridge a little and just the edge of the insulation got wet and that's how I noticed that it was leaking so I have the insulation pulled back now. I have the AC cover sitting under the plywood. So the plywood's sitting up and uh, yeah, just to let it air out. But it's been about two weeks uh, since I figured that out, that it was leaking. So, I mean, it hasn't leaked since because I haven't turned it on or anything. So I could just go ahead and lay it out if I was gonna leave this AC in here and just not mess with it or whatever. But I think I'm just gonna pull it out because that'll give me a few more inches plus it's giving me access to this wall on the side of the van and I was going to put a, um, a shoreline or access point for a shoreline so cut a hole and put one of those um, I don't know what you call them like little plugs in the hole to where I could plug an extension cord into the side of the van if I'm ever somewhere where there is electricity at and this will give me that access point so I don't have to like mess around with any other walls so then I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I'm not going to use it anyway. And this white stuff, I sprayed it down with bleach. I sprayed the bleach all over this place, even on this wood and stuff. Um, just to be safe. It's not dirty water. But, uh, yeah. So, and I had showed in that video when I was showing you at first before I lost the footage, uh, the leaking. Uh, I showed you up underneath where the hoses were. And one of the hoses were kind of spouting back up um, under the van. So I don't know if it was because that was blocked or what was going on, but I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this because I'm not going to use it. Like I said, I have my Mr. Buddy heater to keep me warm and as far as keeping me cool, uh, the AC doesn't even work up front So because the, um, the hose was cut because it was hitting stuff around there. Excuse me, so I can't even use that one, so I'm pretty sure the AC is not going to work for this. So I'm not even going to try with that. I'll figure out a different way to keep myself cool until I fix the front AC. But I have some time because it's still winter. So pull that out. Once I pull that out, 
I'm gonna go ahead and lay the flooring down. So this will now turn into a seven part series, <laughs> but it's all good. We're gonna get through this. Um, yeah, I'm still looking to either build or find me something for free to put in this area on this side um, for like my desk area, kitchen area type of space. I still have this one cabinet, but I'm trying to add to it. So I'm trying to figure out if I wanna build something or just keep waiting to find something for free or on the side of the road or something like that so we're gonna see what happens nothing else new going on with the van oh yeah except i am going to um when jonas came through here which i'll have footage of that up sometime this week more than likely but uh when jonas came through and all that snow and everything at the van set for a few days because i couldn't get out and um when i finally did uh, i started up and i could see that the muffler was leaking in two places and I'll show you that. You can tell that it's rusted. And so I went ahead and went to the muffler guy and talked to him. Because I don't want that to mess up anything else. And I also don't want my muffler just to fall and hit the ground while I'm driving. So, <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see that well. But uh, right there, you can obviously tell it's cut. Uh, and so it was leaking from there and also on the other side. Um, he said that this isn't even the right piece it was supposed to be oval and that one is round so they obviously was just rigging up something I guess and didn't do a good job because that's like really rusted and you can tell it there's a whole line right there and that's why I want to just go ahead and get this done so that um, this doesn't fall <laughs> from underneath my van right there and then the other rusted part is down right there I don't know if you can see it because I can't see the screen right now um, but yeah, that's what it's looking like under here. So on Tuesday of this week, I'm going to take it to the muffler guy and let him fix this, fix it up. He said you can also tell that the, uh, tailpipe is low or too far back or something like that. You can't, I mean, you could definitely tell that there's something up with the tailpipe. I always scrape it when I'm going near a sidewalk, back near a sidewalk, because it's so low. So I think he's going to fix that too. So on Tuesday, I'll have all that done. But that's what's going on. Hope y'all are uh, having a good day. And uh, we're going to head into part 7 here soon, hopefully.